and welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm focused on Hermes scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. Before we get started, let me give a shout out to all the new channel members and special welcome to the new knot connoisseurs and elegant insiders. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the membership options. In this video, I thought I'd shift gears a bit and focus on an Hermes artist. Her designs have become widely collected since starting with the house in 2012, showcasing both her unique style and efforts to raise awareness about conservation. Hermes fans may have already guessed, I'm talking about none other than Alice Shirley. So if you're interested in learning more about this prolific artist, let's get started. Alice Shirley is a London-based artist and designer whose work is primarily focused on the human relationship with nature and stories. After studying fine art at the Byam Shaw Central St. Martins, she then studied drawing at the Royal Drawing School in London. She has worked closely with the Natural History Museum in London and its specimen collection, producing a series of sea monsters for her first solo show called Fathoms in 2013 at the Royal College of Art in aid of the charity Art for Youth. No stranger to whimsical creations, for that first show, she used squid ink to draw a giant mollusk, a drawing which extended to 9 meters in length, or nearly 30 feet. Over the years, she has worked closely with conservation charities, including the IUCN and Synchronicity Earth, with whom she collaborated for the Biophilia Ball in 2014, creating 550 hand-painted and hand-decorated masks depicting endangered species for guests to wear at the ball. Since 2012, Alice has had an ongoing relationship with Hermes, designing silk scarves and items for jewelry, beachwear, home, and children. She also took part in the touring event Hermes Carré Club in New York, Singapore, Milan, Los Angeles, and Paris. This artist has also collaborated with the French fashion house Dior, designing their Christmas packaging and advent calendar for 2021. Alice Shirley was studying at the Royal Drawing School in 2010 when she met Hubert and his twin brother, Xavier Grand Hermès, members of the Hermès family. They were jokingly arguing over which of them would buy her sketchbook that was on display. She told them it was not for sale. So instead, Hubert asked to buy a copy of her children's book, Aesop's Fables, as a folio edition with original illustrations tucked in the pages. He said he liked foxes, so she made sure there were a lot of fox sketches. As a thank you for buying her book, she then sent him a hand-colored etching of some iguanas being ridden by mice. He liked it so much that he sent it to Christine Duvignon, head of Studio Dessin at Hermès, who gave Shirley a call and asked her to come to Paris with her portfolio. Shirley was worried about showing Duvignon her work and her not liking anything because at the time she was drawing a lot of sea monster specimens. Christine and Bally Barrett, who was head of women's silk at the time, liked a tiny sketch of a zebra in the sketchbook and asked if she could develop that as an idea. Two months later, she came with a finished painted design of zebra pegasus. Christine and Bally were surprised and said they didn't normally work like that. Designs are usually developed with artists slowly with many sketches, but they loved it and decided to buy it right away. Alice Shirley says she makes work about nature to understand it better. Every new piece involves extensive research, whether it is about animal behavior and movement, plant reproduction, mineral deposits from extinct coral reefs, plate tectonics, or the way sea monsters make her feel about the open ocean. She says that the research helps her understand how the world is put together and therefore understand her place in it better. With her work, she explores the emotions that all this information brings and makes art to reflect that. Humans are conspicuous by their absence in her work. 
And this is reflective of her opinion that wild nature is best at recovering when left to its own devices and allowed to reassert itself. As the world works harder towards a zero carbon economy, which she believes is achievable in her lifetime, and cleans up the devastation of plastic waste, develops farming in a way that does not damage ecosystems, this artist believes that nature once again will flourish. When asked about her favorite authors growing up, she says that favorites included Roald Dahl's books. She says, of all of them, he was genius. She also loved Terry Jones's fairy tales, illustrated by Michael Foreman, and Kathleen Hale's Orlando the Marmalade Cat book series. A book she remembers vividly was The Secret Oceans by Betty Ballantyne, which was filled with incredible underwater life scenes that she would pore over. She also says that she was always drawn to classic fables, myths, and fairy tales, especially ancient mythological stories, which she still loves, calling them stories you can never outgrow. Her first book for children was her own edition of Aesop's Fables, which is a classic collection of stories dating back to ancient Greece, Egypt, and Persia, all attributed to the storyteller Aesop. They are stories of cunning, deceit, and the law of the jungle. The Victorians added morals at the end of each story to make them have more Christian values, but in her edition, she left the morals out. Her second book, The Gentle Lion and the Little Owlet, is based on a real-life story that she read in a newspaper about an owlet that fell in the lion enclosure of a zoo in Devon and lived there for a week before flying away. She says her version of the story is rather more embellished. So there you have it. More about this well-loved artist with Hermes. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!